As always, it is so great to have you here and I hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. Anyways, today we have another great recipe. We're making a restaurant quality pasta dish that's not only packed with a ton of flavors, but it's made with the most basic pantry staples. We're talking a salmon pasta with spinach and mushrooms. Now the beauty of this recipe, besides the fact that it's so easy to make and all done in about 20 minutes, is that we're gonna be using canned salmon instead of fresh salmon, making this dish so much more accessible and affordable. Folks, serve this pasta dish next to a simple salad and a crunchy baguette, you're gonna have yourself one heck of a great meal. All right, let's begin by filling a stock pot with some cold water. You wanna go to a little over the halfway point. Then we'll season generously with sea salt and heat it with a high heat. In the meantime, let's start making our spinach and mushroom mixture. I'm gonna finely chop one small onion, roughly chop six cloves of garlic, roughly chop 200 grams of spinach, which is about seven ounces. I'm using fresh bag spinach, but you can also use the frozen stuff here. Just make sure to fully thaw it out beforehand. And we'll cut eight white mushrooms that have been washed and patted dry, each one into slices that are a quarter inch thick, which is a little over half a centimeter. Then we'll heat a large fry pan with a medium heat and add in about three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 45 milliliters. After about one minute, we'll add in the chopped onion and we'll mix the onion around, that way it's coated in that olive oil, and we're gonna lightly saute it between three to four minutes. Once the onions are nice and translucent, it's been about four minutes, I'm gonna add in the sliced mushrooms, and we'll continue to mix this and go for another three to four minutes. After about four minutes and the mushrooms are lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in the chopped garlic and we'll continue to mix this and we're just gonna go for about 30 seconds in the garlic. You don't wanna brown it, you just want it to be nice and fragrant. Then we'll add in half a teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, which is about 1.15 grams, half a teaspoon of dry thyme, which is about half a gram, a pinch of sea salt, and some freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a quick mix, that way the seasonings are evenly mixed into the vegetables. As always, the Spanish paprika that I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below, and if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. Then we'll add in half a cup of dried white wine, which is 120 milliliters, if white wine is not your thing, you can substitute it for any type of broth you like. And we'll give it a quick mix and then simmer it between two to three minutes or until that white wine has reduced in half. After about three minutes and the white wine has reduced in half and the alcohol has cooked off, I'm gonna add in the chopped spinach place the lid over the pan, and turn off the heat. In the meantime, let's move back to our stock pot. As you can see, the water's now out of boil, so it's time to add in the pasta. For this recipe, I'm using fettuccine, but you can use whatever pasta you like. I'm gonna grab 225 grams, which is about eight ounces, and we'll add the pasta into the stock pot. And we're gonna cook the pasta until it's just al dente, so make sure to check the package instructions in the pasta that you're using. And you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get under every two minutes or so, that way the pasta doesn't stick together and it all evenly cooks. In the meantime, let's start getting the salmon ready. I'm gonna crack open two cans of salmon, drain them into a fine sieve with a bowl underneath, and we'll break the salmon apart into large chunks. Then we'll move back to the fry pan. I'm gonna remove the lid. And as you can see, the spinach is lightly wilted. At this point, I'm gonna give it a quick mix. That way the spinach is evenly mixed with the mushrooms. 
Then we'll add in three quarters of a cup of plain Greek yogurt at room temperature, which is 170 grams. And once again, it's very important for the Greek yogurt to be at room temperature, otherwise it can easily curdle. Then we'll season the yogurt with a kiss of sea salt and a generous portion of freshly cracked black pepper. And as you know, that black pepper brings out an incredible flavor in the Greek yogurt. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together. Once the pasta is just cooked al dente, I'm going to start transferring it directly from the stock pot into the pan with a mushroom and spinach sauce. And let me tell you, it's okay if a little bit of that cooking water from the pasta goes into the sauce. It's actually going to give it a beautiful silky texture. And we'll give it a mix. That way the pasta is evenly mixed into the sauce. And let me tell you, as you're mixing the pasta together, if you notice that your sauce is too thick or it's drying out, you just add in some of the reserved cooking water from the pasta and once again, it's gonna give the sauce that beautiful silky texture. Then we'll add in the chunks of canned salmon and we'll give it a gentle mix. That way the pieces of salmon are evenly mixed into the pasta. Check it out, our salmon pasta with spinach and mushrooms is done. Easy to make, simple ingredients, super healthy for you, and all done in a little over 20 minutes. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. As always folks, now it's time for the moment of truth. Like seriously, we use canned salmon, not fresh salmon, to create this incredible pasta dish. Here we go. So good. First things first, the balance of flavors with all the ingredients, the earthiness from the mushrooms, uh, the spinach, that Greek yogurt to give it that beautiful creamy texture, and then the canned salmon taking things to the next level. Folks, easy to make, simple ingredients, uh, comes together in a little over 20 minutes. Once again, serve this next to a crunchy baguette and a simple salad, you're gonna have yourself one heck of a delicious meal. Really quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Leslie Tyson, Alan Sanchez, Jay Edwards, Kevin Moran, and Richard Esby. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that where Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.